of the world. But that's kind of deceiving. Because you can look like something that you're not. You can look successful, be as broke as you can act like you're happy and just as weary and tired and sad on the inside. Bishop James, this is something that stands out to me that I give tribute to you, and that is as Paul was saying to not become weary. I like to use the term of being able to persevere in changing times. Then I can break that down a little more and say it's like you having resilience. I looked that up and I found out that that word resilience, because I want to try to bring it out to make it. relevant to us today. It says that resilience is emotional strength with the skill of adapting in the face of trauma. Emotional strength. With the skills of being able to adapt to the traumas of life. The difficulties of life. The disappointments of life. Yeah, yeah. Yes, even the failures that we have in life. Yeah, yeah. But resilience says that you don't quit. No. You don't give up. Yes, yes. You don't stop. You keep going. Yeah. I tell you what resilience is. It's when he comes here on Sunday morning. Yeah, uh, and no one's here but him. That's right, yep, yep, yep. He opens his Bible and his Sunday school book. And he began to teach Sunday school to the angels. Morning service. This is what resilience is. Nobody's in the house. But he mounts his position and he preaches to the angels. That's resilience. Most men will say nobody's here. I'll just go home. Or I'll go sit in my office and maybe somebody will come. But you know, he, he knows his calling. And God has mandated that he preach the word. And be instant in season and out That means when somebody's here and when they're not here. He's doing the work. And that's a good work. That's a work nobody sees. So to say, because you don't see it, he's not doing it. So I say unto you, Bishop James, today, keep doing your good work. Keep on keeping on. 